Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so it's all about the money, it seems, this week. Um, you've got the Three of Pentacles over here, so being very focused on your work, uh, putting a lot of energy and effort into it. You might be feeling a bit restricted in your work as well, but you are in authority. You are giving a lot of advice. Uh, you know, you're having to use your mind quite a bit as well and be very organized. Uh, Saturn um, rules Capricorn, so this is Mercury in Capricorn, and this is about, you know, taking things slowly, being very, very um, uh, specific, very precise in what you're doing as well, and, uh, you know, uh, going through things in detail. So, um, you know, the devil's in the details, so make sure that you are looking at all the finer details uh, in your work, don't overlook things and, you know, putting, focusing a lot of mental uh, energy, learning a lot of lessons as well, uh, because, you know, Saturn uh, is about teaching lessons on, in the Zodiac and you've got Mercury over there. So you're learning a lot of new things and these are, f you're laying very firm foundations as far as that education goes as well. So you are very, very focused on your work as well in this week. And you've got some option coming up over here. You've got the Seven of Cups over here. So being given opportunities, uh, but needing to research and to find out which op opportunity is the best one that is suited for you. So you are going to be presented with some kind of new thing to do. Uh, and there's a lot of options available, uh, but you need to do some research and find out which one is the one that's going to bring the best benefits for you. And the card below it is the Seven of Pentacles. And, um, you know, this is about investing in your future. This is putting a lot of effort and energy into it. So you're going to have to put in some work in order for you to reap the benefits and, you know, make the money, really. You've got Mercury there in Virgo. So this is about focused on that work, focused on that money, and focused on that education, uh, just being very single-minded in what you do. That Seven of Pentacles is a lot of options as well available to you. Uh, so, you know, you need to invest wisely and make do some research uh, as well. So in the past, you've got the queen, uh, the princess of wands over here, uh, you know, and this is about abundance coming in over here. This is, you know, going into almost the summertime of your life uh, where things are growing and things are moving on as well. And you taking authority over here. You can see this woman's carrying that rod um, and, you know, there's a lot of communication going on. But uh, people are seeing her uh, and focusing on her and she is, uh, um, you know, getting acclaimed. So people are recognizing her talents as well. You've get, got the eight of swords sitting next to it. So you've been feeling a bit restricted restricted as well. Uh, maybe you feel as though your freedom has been restricted. Uh, you've got that uh, Venus over here, which, you know, is, a, is the love for one, uh, nice things and, uh, you know, the good life. And then, you know, uh, Mercury ruling um, Gemini. Now, Mercury tends to be a little bit uh, restrictive as well. So, um, you know, it could be that, you know, you feel like uh, you know, you want to express yourself and you haven't been able to. So uh, maybe your freedom has been a little bit curbed. And this is maybe because you've been focusing so much on your work uh, that you haven't been able to get out there. Maybe you, you haven't been able to socialize as much as you would like to with this Eight of Swords. Also, it could be, you know, you could be in a difficult situation. You're having problems seeing how to get out of that particular situation. You've got the Wheel of Fortune coming in for you, and this is Jupiter, and this is about expansion and achievement and broadening your horizons. And uh, Jupiter is the greater benefit, um, according to the um, Indian astrology, and this is about, you know, expansion and a lot of luck and a lot of money coming in. So big changes coming in, lots of growth coming in as well. It's not even material growth, it's also spiritual growth as well that comes in. Now you've got the Four of Wands following that, and that's the Hydra over here, and the Hydra is that beast with a lot of heads in it. So you might be, uh, you know, the Four of Wands is about achievement and success. It's about focusing on yourself and getting a, that acclaim. You've got the sun sitting there in Leo over here. So a lot of recognition coming in for you, a lot of success coming in for you. But with the Hydra in this particular uh, card, it's about little minor problems that crop up here and there, uh, seem, things that seem to, uh, you know, go wrong a little bit, uh, not big problems, more irritations than problems, uh, and you're needing to sort out these things. So you have to be on your toes for this particular thing. Uh, you know, be alert, be vigilant, uh, and sort the problem out first before it takes a root and becomes something big um, that you can't handle. So uh, a need to do that in order for you to achieve success. So those are the energies for that week. So I'm just drawing some cards from the tarot of the um, spirit world. So 
the bottom of the deck, you've got the High Priestess card over here. So this is a need for you to follow your intuition. You might need to get some kind of advice from somebody as well, um, you know, something that you trust. But this is about going in deep within and following your deep intuit your intuitive powers. Uh, so go by your gut instinct. Follow whatever you think is right. It is the right thing to do because the High Priestess is about you being the person that holds the keys of knowledge. Uh, this could also be you starting off something to do with education or learning as well. Uh, you know, pursuing the bigger goal by, uh, you know, getting more information, more knowledge coming to you. Now, with the High Priestess, there's also things that are being hidden from you. So maybe people are not uh, being totally honest with you or things are being, um, not, things have not come to light. So be aware of that when you're making decisions. Make sure that you're doing some research before you actually make big decisions as well with that card. Now, the High Priestess also talks about uh, waiting. So there is a need for you to just wait. Um, don't be too proactive. Uh, things will fall into your hand with this uh, High Priestess card. She rules the cycles of the moon, so it's about uh, waiting for that energy to come to you. Now, you've got the t two of wands over here, so this is about making a decision and also choosing, you know, reaching that fork in the road, uh, changing the way you do things. So uh, you might have a new project or something new that you want to do. You have two options available to you. Um, like I said, make sure that you are doing the research first before you make that decision, but you are now uh, facing some kind of decision. And be aware that people around you are, are being a bit spiteful as well. You've got this card of the Five of Swords. So, you know, there you can see this man's eyes are closed over here. So somebody around you uh, is preventing you or wants to cause a lot of trouble for you uh, or people around you trying to cause trouble for you. They have kept... Things are being kept from you, so there are some hidden things. And, you you know, with the High Priestess, there's also things that have not been revealed. Um, so there's information that is missing and that you need to go and do some research in order for you to make this big decision uh, for things to come to light. Uh, because you can see that the eyes are closed here. This person's got, um, um, you know, um, some sort of eye mask on over there. Uh, so things have not come to light. And although they want to act, uh, you know, there are people that are working against them there. So this is about vindictive behavior, uh, people lying, uh, deceiving, uh, you know, um, being very nasty. So just be aware that people are not all um, out for your best interests and there are people that are working against you. So make sure that you are doing your research and that you're keeping on top of things before you make decisions. Um, now, in the past, you've got the Knave of Pentacles over here. So you, you've been very, very focused on your works. Maybe it's been, you know, involved a lot of study, a lot of learning. You've been spending a lot of time by yourself and, you know, um, and learning a lot as well. So, you know, been hitting the books pretty hard, it seems, with this particular card uh, and a lot of information. Maybe you've also been working with a lot of information, but working very solitary uh, work. And it's been a lot of, uh, a lot of it has been just focusing on that work, on that job. Now, you might have been doing a lot of travel as well. Um, you've got this Knight of uh, Wands over here. You may have moved uh, home or you may have been traveling a lot. You may have also been communicating a lot with foreign uh, people uh, and uh, traveling a lot maybe to go and see them to do that particular work. Now, the Knight of Wands is always about doing that same job somewhere else overseas or even starting a new job somewhere else. But there's been travel that has happened and maybe you've even re relocated recently. Now, what's in your mind? You've got the Seven of Cups. So there's some kind of decision that is coming up, some kind of option that is uh, be, has been presented to you, and you are considering what to do. Uh, so you have had some kind of offer that has come in. This is on your mind, and you are trying to make a decision about what you want to do. And you can see that with that Two of Wands trying to make a decision uh, about uh, you know what to do, whether to burn your bridges and move forward, or whether to stay and put in that particular job. It looks like you know this travel has broadened the mind. Uh, maybe this new job is uh, you know maybe this was a temporary job initially, but now it's been a new job that has been offered as a permanent position uh, overseas. And maybe you're trying to make that decision whether you should leave it, leave your old um, wherever you've been working with, uh, working at and moving on to something else, traveling and doing that. Because the two of wands, you know, the wands cards is always about travel. So you're deciding whether to leave this old position and move on to something new. So you are at a major decision in your particular field or in your, in your life right now about what to do next. 
So you have a lot of options available for you. It seems like in the past you've had a lot of disappointment. The Five of Cups is sitting on the ground over here. There's been a lot of disappointments. But uh, it seems like this new offer is coming in for you and now you're trying to make a decision about how to move forward. You've got this Ace of Wands over here. So it looks like you're going to make that decision to move on. You're quite knowledgeable as well, quite learned up as well. There's that choice that is coming on. Um, and it looks like you are going to be moving on, starting something brand new. You've got the Ace of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles over here. You will be working very hard very soon. And, you know, you'll be learning a lot uh, on that job as well. So this is about almost being like an apprentice in that particular work that you're doing. But it's going to be generating a lot of money soon. You are setting the foundations right now. Learning. That High Priestess is about learning. And you are setting the foundations for more money to come in for you. Now, you've got that Two of Pentacles. So there's a double job. There's, there are two offers that are coming in for you. And you're trying to make a decision about which one is going to bring in the most money. Um, so you're trying to decide whether uh, which job to take. So there's some kind of... There are some offers coming in for you. It looks like there are two job offers coming in for you, and you're trying to decide what to do. You're also doing uh, an assessment of your finances, it seems. One of the jobs might be in a teaching capacity as well. So you've got a lot of twos. You can see there are two women over here in this Ace of Batons, and this one of the jobs also involves travel. So you've got that choice. You've got the lover's card, so it's definitely a big choice coming in for you, and you're worried about that. So going into the future, you've got a lot of twos. You've got the two of swords over here uh, and uh, the four of swords and you've got the ace of cups. Now the two of swords over here, you can see making that decision, trying to make a decision and trying to be very, very logical about it. And that is how you're going to have to make this decision. You're going to put, have to put your emotions behind you. Any kind of emotional ties you're gonna, you have, you're going to have to cut that out of this equation and you're going to have to make this decision based on logic and what's the best outcome for you um, based on logic rather than based on emotion. So don't let emotional ties uh, prevent you from making the right choice. You've got the four of cups, um, uh, sorry, the four of swords over here. So, you know, the stress is having its effects on you. You might need to take a little bit of a holiday, a little bit of a break because there could be some stress related illnesses that are emerging because you have to make this big decision or maybe, uh, you know, you have to recover from whatever's happened uh, to you in the past. So, you know, it also looks like there might be some learning involved. So this career that you, this choice that you have to make, this career that you have, you're going for is going to bring in a lot of learning as well. So, and a lot of travel. And it looks like you're going to have to make that decision based on logic. So it might be taking you away from the people that you love, but it's going to be for, in the end, it's going to all work out for your better because this is the ace of cups over here so whatever is coming in for you is going to bring in that emotional fulfillment that particular cup that is coming this offer that is coming in although you have to make a very a decision based on logic put the emotions and all your fears behind you you can see the moon is behind her to make that decision it, it will have a lot of rewards at the end and it is going to be something that's really good for you and it's also going to bring in a lot of learning so this new cup is a cup of knowledge that comes in for you as well. So whatever this new job or this new offer is that comes in that you are stressing out a little bit about, uh, you know, you've got to choose the option where you have you can do learning and further yourself in that kind of way. So there's a lot of twos uh, and there's a lot of cards with two uh, a choice in it. Uh, so whatever this decision is. Um, you know, it starts off even with that uh, high priestess, which is a two. It's a card of choice. Um, you're going to have to make that decision. Um, and it's going to bring in, you've got the lover's card over there. You've got the two of pentacles over there. So there's definitely choice. That decision is going to be based on learning and how much you can learn from that particular job um, rather than worrying about, uh, you know, um, leaving people behind. Um, you've got to think about yourself now. This is the, this is, for your improvement. So whatever you decide, you make sure that you make a decision based on what is going to be good for you, regardless of everybody else around you. So you've got the nine of winter over here, which says your worries and fears aren't real. They are uh, fueled by focusing on the negative and that gives it power. So stop worrying, let go of fear and everything will be okay. So you are at a point where you're feeling a bit lonely and you're a bit confused right now, uh, but and you're overthinking things. So stop worrying, make the decision, 
and base it on whatever is going to be good for you. You've got the justice card, which says fair decisions are being made and have compassion for others and try to see all sides of the argument. So you might be doing some legal, signing some legal papers, legal documents as well with this justice card. And this is you weighing your options as well. So this is uh, look at all the facts before you make your decision. And the last one is the nine of autumn, which says your success has brought you financial security and reward uh, of a much deserved time off to enjoy your own company. You may suddenly have a brilliant idea for business or self-employment, um, and that will be very successful. So whatever the decision that you make is going to bring you a lot of financial stability and financial independence. So you make weigh your options, look at all the facts and figures, and make that decision based on what is going to be good for you in the end, not about what everybody else thinks, because it's going to bring you a lot of success and a lot of independence as well. So I hope this uh, reading has resonated with you. And please don't forget to uh, like, share, subscribe, and leave me some comments. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.